our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. What can I do for you? Would you recommend some materials on the World War II? Have you found a particular item from the card catalog? Yes, but I don't think they are enough for me. Oh, maybe you can find something from the New York Times or the Washington Post during that period. That's a good idea. Thanks a lot. You are welcome. How long can I keep these books? A month. Don't forget to return them by the due date. What if I can't finish them by then? Bring them back to the circulation desk and renew them. Any terrible fines? Sure. Hi, Tom. You forgot to put on your sports shoes. It's games day today. Well, I have them in my bag. E'll put them on right away. Let me give you a hand. You are carrying so many books. Thanks. Have you forgotten the cheers? No, I haven't. I've tried hard to remember and I'm quite sure I've memorized the rhythm correctly. That's good. Excuse me, I'd like to apply for a library card. Certainly. Here's an application form. Do you have proof of residence? What sort of proof do you need? A driver's license or something showing that you live in this city. I'm a student from out of state, so I don't have a local driver's license. Do you have a current electricity or gas bill in your name? The phone bill's in my name. That'll do. Bring the most recent one in with your completed application, and we'll issue you a temporary library card right away. How long will it take to get the regular one? It'll be mailed to you within two weeks, but you can borrow books on the temporary card. Okay, thanks for your help. How can I help you today, Alice? Well, I came to talk to you because I want to apply for a scholarship. Oh, good. You're an excellent student. I'd be very willing to help you with that. Thanks. I really appreciate it. In fact, I do need a letter of recommendation for this scholarship. What kind of scholarship is it? It's an undergraduate scholarship offered by the American Minority Students Scholarship Association. I'm eligible for it because I'm Asian American. Fine. I know about that scholarship. You have to be a student in your junior year, and you have to have a grade point average of 3.7 or higher. I'm a junior now, and my GPA is 3.92. Excellent. So you'll have a good chance of getting it. Well, I hope so. The competition is probably pretty heavy. And they want a writing sample too. Do you have an essay you want to send them? No, they want a special essay. I must write an essay on a particular question they pose. What is the question? They give applicants a topic. The topic is, the place of ethnic minorities in a democratic society. My essay must be three pages typed and double-spaced. That's a pretty short essay. Yes, but I need to write it by next week. Good luck. I'm sure you will do a good job. I came here today to talk to you because, well, I need to ask two favors. Sure. What are they? 
First, I need a letter of recommendation. I'd be happy to write one for you. And second, well, I'm not sure if it's normal. What is it? Do you want me to read your essay? Yes, if you could. I mean, if you could read it to make sure there are no mistakes. Or maybe you'd have some suggestions. Of course I could read it. That's no problem. But you need to get it to me soon. I will. I want to write the first draft tonight. So I could bring it tomorrow morning. All right. If you can bring it to me tomorrow morning, I can talk with you after class on Friday. So I'll have some feedback for you before the weekend. That would really help me a lot. I'm very grateful. Don't mention it. I'm always willing to help good students. Hi, Ed. What's up? Nothing. Doesn't look like it to me. Just get out of my face. Woo, easy. Leave me alone. What are you so ticked off about? I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I could help. I blew the final exam. You've got to be joking. No, I'm not. Well, Don't get bent on a ship about it. May I help you? What time will the library be closing? It closes at 6. Does it always close at 6? No, not every day. Will the library be open on Saturday? Absolutely. What are your hours on Saturday? Saturday's hours are from 9 in the morning to 6.30 at night. All right. Thank you. What else can I help you with? That's it. Thank you. Who are we going to play with today? We are playing against Hainan. Oh. The basketball team from number one college? I know they're a tough team. Sure they are. Who's winning? We are. 27 to 26. Really? I thought that they'd been killing us by now. How can it be? We are a tough team as well. We need to elect club officials before the summer starts. I guess we should start with nominees first. Let's make it the first item of business in our next meeting. We should probably let everyone know ahead of time so they will be prepared. Can you take care of sending out a bulletin by email to all the club members? Yes, I can do that this afternoon. Let's schedule the actual election times the week after the nominations. Doesn't that seem logical? Yes, let me put it on the calendar. So, how's your course going? Do you like it? I like my professors and the classes, but it's a lot of work. What are you specializing in? Right now, I'm doing some research into the languages of different African tribes. That sounds really interesting. Can you speak Swahili? Yes, I learned how to speak it when I was little. Really? How did you do that? Well, I grew up in Africa, so I learned quite a few different languages. That's amazing. Are you doing well in your classes? I don't know because I haven't received my test results yet. When did you take your exams? About two weeks ago. How do you think you did? I left feeling pretty confident about my score, 
but I heard that my professors are very strict graders, so I'm a bit nervous. I'm sure you'll do well. Did you study hard? You know me. I'm always studying. Don't worry. If you don't do well, no one can. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Justin. Do you often buy magazines? I buy a computer magazine every month. It keeps me up to date with all the latest developments. Why don't you find the information on the internet instead? Sometimes it takes too long to find the exact information you are looking for. Besides, I like to read a magazine in a coffee bar sometimes. Do you have an online edition of that magazine? Yes, they do. But you can only access all the articles if you have a subscription. Do you have a subscription? Yes, I do. The magazine arrives by post at the beginning of each month. Do you ever buy magazines? I only buy them if they look particularly interesting. I don't buy any regularly. Could you tell me if you have ever taken a class from Dr. Miller? Yes. Are you going to be taking a class from him? Yes, but I have never taken his class before. He is very interesting and challenging. Is that what you are looking for? Yes, that's what I need. He is really clear on what you need to learn to get a good grade. Are you willing to study hard? Yes, I guess so. What I really liked about him is that he was an understanding and friendly teacher. Do you enjoy that in a teacher? Yes, I had a teacher like that before. Did you know that he has 20 years teaching experience? No, I didn't, but that could be a good thing. Well, Take a look at everything and figure out what is best for you. Good luck. Bill, your work is too messy. I'll pay attention to my handwriting next time. Is this a promise? Yes, I'm serious this time. How may I help you? I want to return this video. Is that all you need? I also need to check these books out. Anything else? That's everything. I need your library card. I have it. Here you go. Do you need anything else? That's everything. Your books are due back two weeks from today. Thank you. Good night. Good morning, miss. Morning. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to know how to use the library. You know, I'm a new student here. All you need is your student identification card to check out books. Yes. Here's my identification. That's all you need. Thank you very much. By the way, how many books am I allowed to check out? You can check out two books at a time. But you can't check out newspapers, magazines and periodicals. They have to be read within library. How long can I keep the books? For two weeks. After that, you must renew the book if you wish to keep them longer. I want a book on physics. Could you show me where I can find it? Yes, over there to your left. You'd better prepare for the examination. I don't think the exam will be very hard. You should change your attitude. Or you will not pass the course. Maybe you're right. 
I have been too lazy lately. You look hot and tired. Jack, have you been exercising? Yes. We just had a basketball match with class 2. Who won? They did. What was the score? 70 to 67. What do you think about studying in the U.S.? Well, for many international students, coming to the United States and living here and studying can be quite a daunting experience, especially when finding a house on campus or off campus. Do you have any advice? I think first of all for first-time students, coming and living on campus in dormitories can provide a certain level of security. Anything else? Uh, when you live off campus, there might be a certain amount of flexibility in choosing roommates that you might not have when living on campus. I will think over your advice. Well, of course, the choice is up to you. Good luck. I really appreciate your help. Margaret, do you think I should enroll in the science course? Yes, I think so. If you want to graduate it this year, you've got to take a science course. Right. I figure since you are doing pre-medical, you know about the very courses. Well, I have to take biology, chemistry, maps and physics. What you need is a good introductory course for non-science majors. Yes, I really weak in maps. I did poorly in high school. That's a problem. What do you like to do with your free time? Study English. You mean you like to study English? Why? It gives me great satisfaction. Studying English wouldn't give me any satisfaction. It's hard work. I don't mind the work. I think it's worthwhile. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.